question. She is not here today. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Would Representative Dreskowski yield to a question? He will yield. Representative Winkler. Representative Dreskowski, are you still a member of the Not a Penny More Caucus? Representative Dreskowski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, uh, Representative Winkler. I don't know that there ever was a, a Not a Penny More Caucus, uh, uh, at least a formal one, uh, Representative Winkler. But um, uh, I believe uh, that we need to restrain government, if that's what you're asking. And uh, apparently that's what you're here to talk about. And I really like the new leaf you're turning over, Representative Winkler. Mr. Speaker, uh, the member from Hennepin, Representative Winkler. Mr. Speaker, Representative Druskowski, uh, it, it isn't a new leaf. It's just a little bit of enlightenment, hopefully, for the public and for the members of this body about the history of some budgets around here and what your priorities and principles are. Uh, would Representative Druskowski yield to another question? He will yield. Representative Winkler. Representative Druskowski, in 2011, you told uh, the Capitol report that over half of your caucus was united around a budget plan that would in increase spending not a penny beyond $34 billion. Do you think that the refusal to spend any more than the prior budget in the next coming biennium is still a majority position in your caucus? Uh, the member from Wabasha, Representative Dreskowski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, um, Representative Winkler, I haven't interviewed my members of my caucus on that particular question. and. Um, I uh, am going to work to persuade as many of them in that direction as possible, and I look forward to you joining me in that endeavor. Uh, the member from Hennepin, Representative Winkler. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will Representative Pepin yield to a question? She will yield. Representative Winkler. Uh, Representative Pepin, you were also a member of the Not a Penny More Caucus. I wonder if you're still a member in good standing with that organization in your, in your caucus. The member from Hennepin, Representative Pepin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Representative Winkler, can you clarify? I was a member of the Not a Penny More Caucus. W what evidence do you have of that? Representative Winkler. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Representative Pepin, I have a newspaper article, I think it's the Capitol Report, uh, that uh, is from May 13, 2011. And you are listed as a not a penny more inscription on your, on your office door. And you with a number of other members, uh, some of whom are here, some are not. But you were uh, identified by the uh, Capitol Report. Representative Joskowski is a member of the not a penny more caucus, not spending a dime more than $34 billion. So the question is, are you still a member of the caucus that believes that you shouldn't spend a penny more than you did last time? Are you asking her to yield? Mr. Speaker, if Representative Pepin would yield. Yep, she will yield. Representative Pepin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and Representative Winkler. Well, I don't remember going into any uh, caucus meetings, sub-caucus meetings, but I have to say I do believe it is our job to be good stewards of taxpayer dollars and to make sure that we are doing everything possible to live within our means, just like we're asking our constituents to do every year. 